This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone. Hope you're all doing grand, having a great weekend, whatever it is that you are doing, wherever you are in the world. Of course, if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome and please click that subscribe button. It's free and brilliant over here. Now, the Sun newspaper, for those of us in the UK, we know about the Sun newspaper. These guys will print any old tat. And these guys will try and create controversy on the back of popular things, shall we say. And one of the things that they've done, which I'll put in the description box for you, is Anthony Joshua is fighting in a country where they execute homosexuals. Now, first of all, listen, okay, they're going to be, um, they're talking to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua responds to these kind of things. And Anthony Joshua is absolutely correct when he says about it. He's not here to change policy, okay? He didn't have a Superman cape. He's not going to put on a pair of Superman pants, fly around the world and start changing policies. And if he did wear that, that kind of gear, they may well execute him because they'll probably think he's homosexual, right? But that aside, he's a boxer, okay? Fact is, he gets punched in the face for a living and punches other people in the head for a living and gets paid very, very well. Saudi Arabia are putting up, I would imagine, more money in his bank account than he's ever seen in his life, okay? So... Fact is, that's why he's going. And of course, he's get a chance to avenge the defeat against the guy who defeated him, plus get all his belts back, right? So that's the reality of it all. The policies of the country ain't his problem, Sun newspaper. Not his problem. I don't know why you want to create all this kind of thing. Every country in the world has their own policies. Some are extreme. Some not so much. Here in the UK, we have very loose policies over here, okay? People get away with way too much. But... At the same time, do I agree with um, Saudi Arabia or any kind of Islamic state that executes homosexuals? Absolutely not. Okay, much like I don't agree with them for stoning women to death, for infidelity, for cheating on their partners or whatever. Do they have that same way for men? Again, I don't know. But the fact is, do I agree with them? No, of course I don't agree with them. But fact is, and this is putting it bluntly, if you are homosexual, maybe don't go to Saudi Arabia. Or if you do go to Saudi Arabia, Keep yourself to yourself. Don't walk around the streets in your lilac pink pants. All right? Don't do that kind of thing. It's very, very simple. If you don't feel safe, don't go. If you're a woman and you want to go there, don't cheat on your partner because you will get stoned. All right? Don't drink alcohol. You will get arrested. All these kind of things. Okay? Know the policies before you go. If you're unhappy about it, don't go. It's very, very simple. And that's pretty much Anthony Joshua's message. If you don't feel safe, don't come watch me on TV. Support me that way. All right? And he's absolutely correct on that one. But no country in the world is perfect, are they? I mean, Saudi Arabia, okay, they, 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 they do these kind of things where for us it's extreme, for them it's normal. It's normal behaviour. Like um, a lot of people come to the UK. They don't like the fact, um, you know, if they're not Christian, that there's church bells ringing. They don't like the fact at Christmas time there's a great huge down Christmas tree in most city and town centres. Okay, they get offended by that. But fact is, okay, it's not as extreme as killing someone, but fact is, Nobody believes in other countries' policies. There are things you can do in Europe they get away with and they don't understand why you can't get away with it in the UK. Much like we can get away with certain things in the UK that we can't get away with in other countries. It just is what it is. No matter where it is in the world that you travel to, make sure you know exactly what's going on. But fact is, I'm presuming it's in the Quran that this is what you do, that you execute homosexuals or you stone women, whatever it may be. I'm presuming that's where they get it from. I don't know, I'm not Muslim. But listen, that's their beliefs. If that's what they believe, that's what they believe. Who's Anthony Joshua to change it? Okay, he's a boxer, not a politician. Very, very simple, isn't it? I mean, it's not difficult to understand some newspaper. Not difficult at all. I mean, for most of us here in the UK, we kind of grew up as Christian, right? We know we celebrate Christmas and Easter, but do we really know and understand the Bible? A lot of people say, well, yeah, I'm Christian, but do you actually know the Bible? Probably not. But you ask a Muslim, do, do you actually know the Quran? The, the, what the chances are, they probably do, okay? But the fact is, I mean... Even the Bible, listen, okay, I'm not religious, not at all. But the fact is, you know, um, I could poke a stick at every religion. But in reality, I respect everybody's opinions um, and their beliefs. If you are Muslim, crack on. If you're Christian, crack on. If you're Jewish, crack on. If you're Hindu, crack on. If you're those space people, whatever it is, that Tom Cruise is a part of, okay, crack on. Don't care what you do. Fact is, don't hurt nobody. That's my thing. And... If it makes you a good person, then great. But if that's what you believe, that's what you believe. And these are the extreme rules in some countries of executing people. I don't agree with them myself, but don't go. It's very simple, isn't it? Very, very simple. Don't drink over there. Don't walk around in your lilac pants. And don't um, do any... Listen, just know the policies before you go. 
All right, it's very, very simple. I mean, people um, over here with the Bible, I mean, for me, I don't particularly believe in the Bible. I wish the Bible was true, to be honest with you. I kind of like the Bible. But the fact is, do I know it's true? I have no idea whatsoever. All I know is that uh, when you first turn the page and it says that God created the heavens and the earth and did the mountains and the seas and created the animals and this, that and the other, and then turned the light on and saw that it was good. Right, so he created light after he did everything. Well, maybe he'd done a better job if he put the light on first, right? But there again, who am I to criticise? Fact is, there are things in all kinds of religions, but if people want to believe them, then you believe in them. I don't, I mean, in America, they execute people in America in certain states, right? They still have a death penalty on death row. Again, each case warrants his own um, judgment, right? Who am I to change it? They have gun laws, as in people allowed to own guns in America, hence the reason why gun crime is so high. Should people not go to America? Because we here in the UK, we have no guns here, as in we're not allowed guns, but in America you are. So therefore, we don't feel safe by going to, um, to um, America. Don't they have something like a, a certain amount of people die every couple of minutes in New York alone due to gun crime? Listen, you know, everybody has their own ways and you, well, basically, you dictate as to what you believe is correct before you go there. If you don't feel safe, don't go there. Very simple. But if you do go there, don't think that you're going to go over there and put on a little protest saying that a homosexual is allowed to live or whatever else because you ain't going to get away with it, all right? You just ain't. So just don't go. It's very simple. And if you do go, keep yourself to yourself. Simple, isn't it? Very, very simple. For me, I'm a married man, okay? But I know if I go to some um, Islamic countries, I can't hold the hand of my wife in the street. I can't kiss her in the street, okay? I know that, so therefore, I wouldn't do that. And if I don't agree with it, I just wouldn't go. Very simple, isn't it? And again, there's too many uploaders out there, especially British ones. Eddie Hearn, why are you putting on this fight in Saudi Arabia? We want it here in the UK. You should be doing this in the UK. You're lying to the fans. You're ripping the fans off, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, if you look at their history, all they do is chastise Anthony Joshua and can't stand him. So they weren't planning on going to watch him anyway. So who are you to say that Anthony Joshua should be fighting in the UK? Very simple, isn't it? Much like um, some American channels who say that Anthony Joshua should be fighting in the US. Okay, was he planning on going? If you weren't, shut up. Very simple, isn't it? For me, Saudi Arabia, I look on it as a good time zone for us. They're two hours ahead, which means usually Anthony Joshua, if he's fighting here in the UK, would be walking to the ring at 10.30 at night. Here in the UK, it will be 8.30 in the evening. That's great, right? That's fine. I have no issues with that whatsoever. It's much better than America, in my opinion, where for us here in the UK, we're watching four or five o'clock in the morning for a ring walk. I'd rather the Saudi time, to be honest with you. And whatever happens in Saudi, keep it. Don't care. I ain't planning on going to Saudi. Very simple, isn't it? And, and if you don't agree with them either, don't go, right? Just don't do th something stupid by, I'm going to go out there, there and I'm going to support him for you, Joshua, with a bottle of beer in my hand and my boyfriend on my arm. Just don't be so stupid, all right? It's on newspaper. Stop making a big deal out of this. Very simple. Don't agree with it? Don't go. How about that? Anyway, article in the description box where Anthony Joshua gives his thoughts on it all. Anyway, click your thumbs up to this video. Drop your comment below. Click subscribe, of course. And I'll catch you all on the next one.